Well, today we're going to talk to Miss Natalie Lorenz from Decorus in Washington. Super excited to hear how things are going in her area. Welcome, Natalie. How are you today? I'm good. Well, thanks for having me. Um, things are going good. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough start uh, coming out of um, quarantine. Um, we somehow someone took favor upon us being part of, of the real estate industry in, in Washington and we were deemed essential. So we very quickly got back to work. So uh, we've been back at work for about two and a half months now. And um, there was that initial pent up demand um, that we had contracts on file. And um, so they were waiting patiently for us to come back to work and then so we weren't quite certain about what was going to happen after all of that pent up demand came, but um, we are certainly rocking and rolling. Ah, that's good to hear. And how's the real estate market in that Seattle area? So, well, you know, the Puget Sound area is a really interesting area because we have Seattle Metro. Um, and of course, we've made headline news. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is going on down there? Uh, we're actually supposed to stage a house on um, Monday, which is uh, literally on the street over from where the chop zone is. So I've been in contact with the builder and um, so far it looks like everything is calm during the day and they're going to be hiring security and people are actually moving into the area. So, uh, so interesting um you know the news has been during the day it's really quiet and then nighttime it's it's really rowdy um so we'll, we'll continue to monitor that situation over the coming the coming weeks um but as far as the real estate industry in our area is typically this time of the year is where we we see um single family homes that are listed um, and we're not seeing that so much. We have a handful of them, but typically this is our big contract time of the year. Single families are moving into different school districts or out of state, people coming, moving into state. Um, but we're not seeing that this year. So we, what we are staging and seeing a lot of is doing uh, townhouses and condos, a ton of them. <laughs> Um, so I would say probably about 75% of the houses that we ha have out at the moment, so either a townhouse or a condo, wow. um, I actually am doing some walkthroughs today. And again, they just condos. So just yes. tons and tons of condos um, going up for sale at the moment. Um, and provided that things are priced correctly, which is always the case, things are moving. So uh, yeah, we have a pretty hot market still that I wouldn't say our market has slowed down other than the restrictions of those single family homes, yes. not being able to do very much as far as moving out of state or moving in state at the moment. So. Mm, yes. Inventory low on those single families. Uh, we're experiencing that as well here uh, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And, and it will be interesting to see the lag time of this, you know, is this going to, are we two, three months just behind? Now we're getting into school, we're getting into holiday, you know, is that going to, um, uh, you know, impact our interest rates, um, of course, inventory days on market, all that. It will be interesting to see for sure. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that. I, it's, um, you know, we're only just going into phase, well, Snohomish County is where I live, but it's literally um, maybe two or three miles from King County where Seattle um, is based. Um, and so we've just gone into uh, phase two and King County did a modified 1.5, which <laughs> we're not Who concerned knows? about. <laughs> um, but they, um, they just, I just read in the news yesterday that they have now officially applied for phase two. So with phase two, you know, that opportunity starts to open up more. Um, and then also a health superintendent said that uh, the kids could go back to school in the fall with masks. So I think everyone has just been really waiting because there's just so much of the unknown and we've been very slow to, to come back. So knowing that, okay, kids can go back to school with masks. We're going into phase two. Almost all the counties are now in phase two. Some are going to phase three. I think we're going to start seeing that movement of those single family homes and 
hopefully after the 4th of July, we can we'll start to see more movements in that area. So. Well, and you bring up a really good point about school. I mean, how many people are going to elect to um, to do school at home, uh, right. to do home-based learning, and then that doesn't even impact our real estate market uh, where people are saying, hey, I'm going to educate at home, online. You know, if I now... I can move in September. I can move in October. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see how the school year and learning, online learning, impacts home sales. Yeah, and you know, uh, just to take that one step further too, people working from home. Right. right? Uh, it's The landscape has just changed completely. <laughs> so, you know, in, in, in the meantime, uh, we wait and see. We yeah pop up popcorn and we wait and see what's going to happen. <laughs> but you know, we, we take, we're taking, um, we're just taking what we can get right now. And those are the condos and, uh, and the townhouses, uh, which makes actually uh, staging pretty challenging. Yes. So those are not easy. Um, those are not easy stages. Um, to do. So um, we certainly have our work cut out for us. Yeah, and, and you bring up a good point there as well, right? So we have parking uh, constraints, we have elevators potentially, we have third floors, lots of extra stairs. Uh, we may need more team that's taking longer either way. Um, confined spaces, <laughs> going up the stairs, trying to get the king bed, like we've all experienced all of these things. Um, has that impacted your, your price? Sing. I mean, have you allocated just a little bit more or how or not? No, we haven't adjusted our pricing. Um, and specifically because in our area, there are some very opportunistic stages mm -hmm. and they are underbidding a lot of people. Yes. Um, so there are definitely some stages that are hurting that just keep on getting underbid on, on and losing work. So we made the decision that we would... Um, keep our pricing where it's at. This whole um, tight. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna hang tight. Um, and so, and all of the people, uh, half of our stages this month are new builds. And those are the relationships that we've been um, building with our builders. So they are accustomed to our pricing anyways, um, and which is perfectly fine. But what is interesting about being in the Puget Sound in the Seattle metro area, um, we're used to doing high rises and we're used to doing the um, the uh, the townhouses <laughs> that are five stories and my team hate me today because I'm making them do well they're doing two today and two more tomorrow <laughs> townhouses so they're like <laughs> it's a good workout <laughs> they are they're getting their leg workouts in um, over the next two days um, but we have already because that is something that's already in our uh, a wheelhouse that we do on a daily basis, we've just got the process down to yes. get it done uh, effectively, easy, and as quickly as possible. So at least it wasn't a, a big transition or adjusting of our procedures on how we do those because we've been doing them. It's just our, our normal stages anyway. So. Yes. That's great. That is wonderful. Well, I'm so glad to hear uh, you guys are just uh, trucking along. Of course, we've had to take some new paths here. We've had to think a little differently. And, you know, are you anticipating just more of the same continued growth? Um, what are you guys looking forward to in maybe this, you know, Q3, Q4? I know, like you said, get your popcorn ready, but <laughs> what, what do you feel like this is going to be for you guys? You know, I'm just uh, I'm confident that the work that I've already put in and those relationships that I have built are just going to sustain us through this. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you're kind of like, oh, we're in the middle of chaos, literally. I mean, other than the pandemic, we literally have um, this whole other um other pandemic that we're yes. dealing with in, in Seattle. Um, so that definitely affects uh, how people are feeling in our area. Mm -hmm. um, but we're still seeing that, you know, people want to move, they're building houses, they, they're doing it. I mean, a lot of our new builders, well, our builders that we're working with, they have houses in flights already, you know, yes. so they're not going to stop building. They're going to continue building and they're going to want to sell them. 
So we're confident that we have, uh, we continue to bring new builders in and the builders that we already have, that we're going to have that business going forward. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we actually are in uh, talks with our, um, our landlord to get a bigger space. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, you would think, okay, we're just going to sit tight for the moment, but no, we, we're going to go, we're going to get, um, we're going to get hopefully a, a new space here in an extra 3000 square feet. I just had to order another 10 sofas just to, just to get us through the next two weeks. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you know, it's amazing to hear, you know, the growth because there is opportunity, uh, you know, of expansion here. If we see the right, you know, we just keep doing the next right thing. That's only going to be blessed. People are uh, going to uh, need our services and rely on us. And then that, of course, means more resources, more inventory, more people, more space. And, uh, and, and I love that on the other side, of this that we've gone through. We've struggled, we've strived, we've kept doing uh, what we felt like, you know, was safe and secure and, um, and being that help in time of need. And now kind of transitioning to the other side, now the benefits and the blessings come in growth. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I think we have to be uh, very strategic about mm -hmm. how we do it and when we do it. And also it's, you know, maybe before pre-COVID, uh, it would have been a simple decision, right? Like, let's do this. Like, and just hop on board. You know, sometimes it's just taking that huge leap of faith and just making sure that, you know, doing whatever you need to do to make sure that it works out, right? Mm -hmm. um, but this, you know, I think a little bit more cautious Mm -hmm. going forward, but not being afraid to, to make those moves, right? And it's just, okay, maybe just taking maybe a half a second more to think about it. <laughs> yes, you're, you're right. Prudent decisions, right? Yes. Wisdom in a multitude of counsel um, will only pay off. And, yes. um, and I love that. Well, final thoughts to uh, our listeners out there. Any advice you could give them? You know, I... Um, I've been helping a, a few of my, um, what we would say, most people would probably say is uh, my competition. Um, but, you know, just kind of, you know, some stages that have just been really struggling through this time, they've been under, under bid, and really encouraging them to uh, think outside of, think outside of the box um, and their product offerings, you know, we had implemented, you know, on different levels of stages long time ago, which I learned from AJ, sorry, thank you. <laughs> and kind of just paying that forward a little bit with some really uh, struggling staging companies, but they just, they're good people mm -hmm. um, and they just needed a little bit of help. So just uh, one, pay it forward. If, yes. if you're in a good spot, just pay it forward and help those, even though they may be your direct competition and literally they are, but that's okay. There's plenty of work for all of us. Um, and then just, you know, or think outside of the box. And, you know, I've, I've been looking online, talking about encouraging and thinking, offering different levels of staging. Um, and there's, you know, been talk about, but diluting your brand. And I'm a, f a firm believer is that, you know, not necessarily when we offer different levels of our stagings, that it's a dilution of our brand. It's making our brand more accessible to others. Mm -hmm. So just really thinking, of, just really when you think outside of the box of how you can make your way forward and survive through all of this, that it's changing your, your thinking mm -hmm. of uh, just making yourself more accessible and your brand more accessible to others. Um, and that will, that will come you know, the, the work will come with that. So I think it's just thinking about things just a little bit differently, not being afraid, uh, digging deep. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie, I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> just building a house, thank goodness you're in the house. <laughs> yes, I just moved into our new house and uh, we're tired from unpacking and, uh, but we're digging deep, you know, we're just like, we're determined to make this work. We're determined to grow. We have our goals. We're determined to reach them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do with the work that needs to come up there. So I just want to encourage people that, yes, we're tired and it's okay to be tired. 
Um, but you know, we, if you want to succeed through this, we just got to dig deep and just find the strength within it and it will all work out in the end. That's right. That's right. And, uh, and, and laugh and not have fear of tomorrow. Right. I love that. that. <laughs> so good. So good. Well, Natalie, we get to see you in person yes. in July. We're super excited <laughs> about the mastermind, um, in Newport beach, get to go to Catalina Island. We can't wait. Um, so it will be a thrill to see you. Um, and until then, uh, wishing you the best. Thank you so much for being on today. Yeah, you're welcome. Just one thing about the, um, the mastermind I was saying to Lori, it's like, I feel like I need to get my fix. So <laughs> <laughs> I love masterminds and I just encourage anyone else that has been thinking about it to just come on over. You will not regret it. I'm so excited to see yes. you guys and just, just be inspired even more and just find that, you know, just, uh, just get it, get it, get it. Something there you go. Sure. It's going to be great. I can't wait. It's always, uh, I feel the same excitement to get to see all of our, our, our teams and um, all of these thriving businesses wanting to grow and go to the next level and get to have some fun together while we're at it. Why not? I need some good food. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, thank you so much and we will see you soon. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.